my name's Peter Jenkins. Uh, I run Jenkins and Son Fisheries with my son. Uh, we based ourselves out of Port Arlington, which we have been for, oh, we've been here a long time now. Um, and we run a fishing company, small fishing company. My, well, my son does all the fishing now. Um, I fish with him, then I fish with my father before. He fished with his father, and my great grandfather was a fisherman also. So it runs back a long way, you know. We've got on the, on, the, on the truck there, you know, over 100 years of fishing, so it'd be well over 100, I should imagine. I started fishing when I was 14. Um, I think I left school probably, probably a year before I was allowed to, um, and I fished with my father and his partner. Um, and I did um, oh, quite some years, and then I become a I become a partner with my father, and um, and yeah, and fished all the way up for, for oh, probably about ten years ago, and and then um, and now my son's taking over, or well, he's taken over the last few years, and he runs the fishing side of it, and we run the the small factory down the road. You know, we we sell direct to the public, and um, yeah, so it's uh, it, all, it keeps us all pretty busy. We relocated to. Um, Wilson's Promontory down the down the, the other side of Wilson's Promontory, which is Corner Inlet, and we brought a license down there and um, like trucks and boats and restructured the whole business so we could fish away from home. So my son fishes five days a week down there and usually comes home for the weekends. So there's a lot of travelling involved um, and a lot of you know getting the fish out of there and um, when we would need it to get out of there, you know. So um, that's why we brought the, the little truck and stuff and. And it's um it's been great, you know. So it's been a it's been a step in the right direction uh, because the yields of fish seem to be pretty good. Um, we've made a lot of nice friends, and you know it's it seems to be pretty good. We'll work today. Um, work till probably six six o'clock tonight, um, and then we'll take off home. And the truck will meet us at back at the where we'll be unloaded, at, and then the fish will go on the truck and then they'll go straight to Melbourne and some back to my fish shop in Port Island. What we sort of do, we shoot the net up into the tide um, and then we tow, we tow down, we tow the net down then and tow it into a circle um, and then we sort of make the circle smaller and smaller and smaller by towing the net round and picking the other end up um, and then when we get to the end we got a cot end and we push all the fish back into a cot end and we purse all the net, we draw the bottom of the net in together and then that forces the fish back into the cot end of the net. And then virtually the fish that you don't need is discarded live. And that's the beauty with small time fisheries. You're working shallow water, everything that, everything that gets returned back into the water is alive. So it's a great thing for the environment. We're the greatest custodians, you know, for the environment because we have to be, otherwise there's nothing left and there's no, there's no future for my son or anyone else's son that wants to join the fishing industry. That truck there will probably leave, you know, with a load of fish and it'll come back into, it'll come back into Melbourne, um, whether it be, you know, night time or, you know, night time, uh, the market opens at nine o'clock so they'll start to unload the fish then um, and then it's sold by two or three o'clock the next morning. So virtually, so the the, 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 the catch can be sold um, virtually within hours. When Donna and I restructured the, the whole business, we had to start, the business had to start making money, of course. So um, we said, oh, Sugar, where do we go? We, we actually need a little truck for transport, you know? So virtually, that's what, that's what we did. We bought a little truck, a little Isuzu, and we went, we went from there, and then it, it sort of grew, and then we found that we can't do without the, the, the truck now. So, um, and yeah, I've always wanted to buy a new truck, but never been able to. And, and we said, well, we're in a position to do it, let's do it. But we never had a hiccup with the first Isuzu. We bought it from like an auction place in Melbourne and um, we didn't pay a lot of money for it. Um, and um, it was great, you know, we thought, how good's this? Um, and I'd never had an Isuzu before. And, and it was that good, I, I just, I said, oh, I've got to buy another Isuzu. And this is the best thing we ever, like, we ever brought, like, it's comfortable and it's great. You know, when you're doing a lot of miles, you want a bit of comfort. And, um, yeah, look, I couldn't be without it. I could not be without it. So, you know, I mean, our business it evolves, it doesn't evolve around that, but we just can't do without it now.